Hello, hello. Hello, hello, guys. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, Denise. How are you? ¿Cómo estuvo su día hoy? It was really great. A great day. <laughs> Qué bueno, me alegro. Vamos a ver. You're welcome. Los demás chicos, chicas, ¿cómo me les fue? Ta, 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 ta. Vamos a ver. Hello, Rachel. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Rachel? Hi, fine. That's great to hear that, Jack. Voy de camino para mi casa, teacher. Estoy caminando por la corrida, ya no veo. It's dark. No, no hay nada, no se ve nada. No se ve nada. Ananda, es que hay un mira, solo una luz, se mira ya quizás cuando sí. tú ves la cámara, se mira ya la lámpara. A lo lejos. Ay. No es que hay un pedazo. No, no sí. Por ahí. Es que ahí hay un pedazo así. Sí, sí está sí, así oscuro por los árboles, como hay unos árboles ahí. Rachel, no, pero... Eh. Rachel lleva, la, lleva una lámpara, Rachel. No está bien oscuro. Pues, ay, no. For the next sí. time, decir. <risa> Ay. Sí, no. Ya voy a llegar a un day luz. Vaya, pues. Otra vez. Solo la voz te oigo. Y... Mira qué es pasado, no puedo estar bien oscuro ahí. Sí. Bueno. Sí, aquí sí. Hay que tener más cuidado, Rachel. Sí, teacher. Ok, perfecto. So let me know when you, when you arrive your home, please. Hello, Freddy's. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Brandon, also Alex, Miguel, Veronica, Maria Jose, Rachel, Denise, and Alex Selno. Ok. Bienvenidos sean todos, chicos, a una semana más, right? This is the second week that we are going to start, guys. And almost, we are in the middle of the course, guys. Remember that this week, eh, you are going to make the, the midterm, okay? You not only is going you no no not all not only are going to make the homeworks that belongs to the unit too, right? Or the section two, but also you're going to make the midterm. Remember that the midterm have four parts in which you are going to make. You're going to keep click click in follow, right? If you don't click in follow. The answer is not going to be sent, okay? Remember that. Chicos, hay que dar, cuando vayan a hacer el midterm, recuerden que consta de cuatro partes y usted tiene que, después de finalizar la primera parte, tiene que darle siguiente. Enviar siguiente, enviar siguiente. Si usted no le da enviar y solo le da siguiente, no le va a enviar las respuestas. Y le va a tomar como que no ha hecho nada, okay? Así que be careful with that. Sean cuidadosos con eso, ¿ok? Vamos a ver. What time is it? It's two minutes past eight. And how many of you are here right now? So you are nine, because we are ten with me, right? We are going to wait three minutes more in order that you can, the others can connect it, right? Hello, how are you? Bienvenida Nancy and Michael. Mike. George, bienvenido George. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, George. ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? How was your weekend? How was it? Okay. That's, that's good because we have a work, right? Thanks God that for that, right? Vamos a ver somebody else. 
Okay, how many of you are? 11. Okay, perfect. So we're going to start. Yes. We need two minutes more, but I think we are enough to start, right? I'm going to pass the list. Just give me some minutes while the others can connect it also, right? I'm going to pass the list for a while. I'm sorry, where are you guys? Where are you guys? Let me, let me, let me check. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Hi. How was your weekend? Oh, uh, for me, it was very nice. Okay. That's good to hear that also. Thank you. You're welcome. Was it Let me open this document. Mm, okay. Where are you guys? Where are you? What are you? What are you? What is you? What is you? What is you? Yes, he says. Donde estamos? No nos encontramos, chicos. Seis, siete. Catorce, dieciséis, quince, trece. Doce. No me Hello. Tell me. Este, dije que yo hice todas las tareas hoy desde el viernes, del problema que tuve, y la día siguiente no sé si salieron este, los porcentajes ahí. Sí, ahorita vamos a checar, solo voy a pasar la lista. Oiga. Ok. Ok, okay. perfecto. Thank you. Ok, let's start. Alex, no, Ramírez Salazar. Ana Raquel Campos Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you, Rachel. Ana Victoria Galán. Brandon Alexis Velázquez Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you, Cristina Beatriz Rivera de Caravantes. Daniel Ernesto Abrego Brizuela. Denise Alejandra Zuniga Aldana. Present. Thank you. Diana Yamilet Maravilla Navas. Edith Adilia Hernández Chacón. Fredis Ricardo Landaverde. Jorge Alberto Laínez Díaz. Thank you. Jorge Ernesto Hernández Durán. Luis Eduardo Reyes. María José Escobar Portillo. Great, thank you. Marisa Celina Aguilar Ramos. Miguel Santos Marroquín Maravilla. Present teacher. Well, thank you. Miguel Santos, okay, Miguel Santos. Morelia Giselle Perdomo Pineda. Nancy Carolina Saldaña Membreño. Present teacher. Thank you, Nancy. O'Kelly de Jesús Mestica Carranza. Verónica Lizette Portillo de Castro. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. So this is the first time that passed the list. We hope the others can connect it while the, the class is passing, right? And they can get the second time, right? Okay, perfect. So what we are going to do now, guys, I would like to remember what we were discussing the last week, because as you know, the weekend has passed, and we tend to forget what we were discussing, what we were saying, and we need to remember in order to pass the next topic that we have for today. But as you know, I don't remember. It's your job to remember to me, okay? A little bit that you remember, it's a lot for me, okay? So go ahead, it's your turn. Speak it in, please. I remember um, the uh, preposition t-shirts, uh, mm -hmm. such as until, from, to, Stay. for a long time, also, since. Um, oh. Then I uh, talk about the link works, mm -hmm. um, such as um, and, but, then, but else, also. Uh, that's it, t-shirt. Okay, excellent, Veronica. So, and we were working in that. Estuvimos trabajando en eso. Pero, ¿qué es lo que hicimos con esas linking words? 
A ver, ¿quién se recuerda? I were the, the my, my, my experience. Uh -huh. We were saying, we were telling to the class, we were, we were telling to the class what? Education level. Uh -huh. So, how do you feel in an application job? Okay. Excellent. And also, we were making a paragraph, right? Of seven lines talking about your information or your personal information, like personal information, college, right? Where, where did you study, right? Work experience, right? And your your actual job, right? Where do you work right now? So those were some parts that we were getting in the paragraph of seven lines, right? And we were explaining to the class. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Perfect. So for today, guys, we are going to talk about another things, right? For this, I'm going to open up presentations that we are going to take into account of the vocabulary words that we are going to use right now. Solamente es para recordar, just to remember, guys. Just to get these PowerPoints, we already say it, but just to remember in brief, right? Remember the professions that we were talking about, like teacher, also, right? Eh, what else? Wait a minute. No me quiere pasar la presentación. The doctor, the police officer, fire partner, fire partner, pilot, right? Chef, bus driver, scientist, vet, artist, right? Nurse, baker, builder, judge, lawyer, farmer, also, right? Waiter or waitress, remember the difference between waiter and waitress? Voucher, right? Car mechanic, flight attendant, taxi driver, barber, hairdresser, that is for the woman, the woman, right? Pharmacist, soldier, sailor, miner, and plumber, okay? Photograph. Reporter, director, architect, optician, surgeon, and astronaut. Also, we have tour guide, cashier, maid, postman, and that's it. Right? So, they are some of the professions that we already know, right? We already discussed. But what about what we are going to do right now? Ahora, chicos, quisiera que ustedes tomaran una de estas profesiones. You are going to take one of these professions, right? And you are going to try to explain what they do. Okay? What are the activities that they do? And qué es un waiter y qué es lo que hace? Qué es un, un lawyer and what does he do, right? What is a judge and what does he do? For example, uh, okay, as a, we can say a uh, bus driver. A bus driver is the person that drives the bus, the school bus, and take to the students to the school. And then he come back the students to their home. And what they do? Ah, he drives the bus. Number two, he takes the students to the, their homes or the school. And also take care of them on the way. Y así sucesivamente explicando qué es lo que hace cada una de las profesiones. Ustedes me van a elegir ahorita, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, what does a teacher do? What does a teacher do, guys? Try to explain it. In brief, right? What does a teacher do? Guys, the, the, is is the person the teacher um the something like that <laughs> um and the material uh, is the um, person teacher, who teach 
Uh -huh. And the school. Uh -huh. Who teaching at school? Yes, yes, yes. Así es. <laughs> así es. It, what, the te what does the teachers do? He teach the students. He prepares. Show, show, uh, teaches the different, the, um, the, um, oh, ¿cómo se dice materia? Mm, okay, mm -hmm. subjects. Subjects. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. He teach. Teaches the different subjects to the students. He explain right the topics and he prepare his or her class for the students. And he he goes to the school and he works works there, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, right? You can say whatever you want. Okay. Do you think the teachers do? In the case that you will choose another profession, you are going to say what you think she or he do. Or he does, right? In this case, or they do, right? So this is the dynamic. You are going to choose the professions that you have here, or maybe if you want, you can choose another one, and you are going to try to explain what does she do or he do, right? Okay, and, and also what is that profession? What is a teacher? Or what is a pilot? What is a chef? What is a bus driver? Oh, who is a scientist, right? What does he do? Or what does she do in the case is female or male? So you're going to use that, okay? Bye. Right. Entonces tenemos 10 minutitos para hacer esa actividad. Usted no va a escoger una profesión de las que ve aquí o si usted quiere escoger otra, está bien. Pero usted me tiene que decir qué es, qué es la persona en la profesión, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, ¿cuál es un profesor? Ah, él enseña, es... Es alguien que enseña. Ajá, ¿y qué hace? Ah, enseña, explica, prepara clase, trabaja en una escuela y take care of the children for a while they are in the school. ¿Ok? Puede ser, ¿verdad? Cinco cosas que hace esa persona. ¿Y qué es, una, y qué es un profesor? ¿O qué es un científico? Y así sucesivamente. ¿Ok? ¿Es clear what you are going to do? Ok. Ok, perfect. Go ahead. Vamos. Hoy vamos a aprovechar el tiempo. Un dólar va a valer para ir al sabor. Excellent, Rachel. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I know, Rachel. <laughs> no worries. Eso es lo que hace divertida y muy entretenida la clase también la cosa. Son los bloopers, bloopers se le dicen, ¿verdad? Vamos a hacer blooper aquí. Sí, vamos a hacer bloopers de todo el curso. No te preocupes, ya todo nos pasa. That's Teacher, ¿verdad que Winter es camarero o un... A waiter. O mes. Ajá, waiter es mesero, pero si tú le vas a poner al femenino es waitress. Waitress. Ajá. Es waiter para hombre y waitress para mujer. <coughs>
Hello. Okay, no worries. Está bien, super nice. Pero digo ya, a esperar a los compañeros. Vamos a esperar a dos más, por lo menos. ¿Cómo vamos a empezar? Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Teacher dijo one profession. Ajá, one profession. You have to choose, okay. for, for example, if you, if you want to choose a doctor, so you're going to try to explain what the doctors do, or what does the doctor do, right? ¿Qué lo que hace el doctor? Okay. Ah, el doctor okay. hace yes, yes, yes. Okay. Traten de usar las linking words, por ejemplo, and, also, or, but also, but, if you want to make a, contra a contrast, right? You can use that. Besides that, etc., etc. Or then you can use all of them, right? In order to give sense to the to the sentences that you are going to get in close, right? Or you are going to link, right? I don't know why. Maybe click and stop. Come on. Chicos, I would like to see you again, guys. Like the first class that I saw almost everybody. And I feel so happy because I was interacting with a lot of people in their meeting, right? All of you were connected with camera. I don't know what happened right now that almost everybody <laughs> tends to turn off the camera, right? <laughs> Oh no. Oh no, ya te vi, Daniel. <laughs> I received. 
No me escapo. No, si te vi cuando desconectaste. I already see you. <laughs> and I know that you are in your home. So yeah. there is no more excuses, right? This week is free. Ajá. 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 Ok, vaya. Para los que se van conectando, vamos a escoger una profesión y usted va a tratar de explicar qué es lo que hace esa persona. Por ejemplo, si usted este, escoge doctor o escoge una enfermera, ¿verdad? Usted va a decir, ah, la enfermera hace esto y esto y esto. Y utilizando las linking words. ¿Y qué son las linking words para unir esas pequeñas oraciones? ¿verdad? Son aquellas que unen, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, en, but, also, besides that, after that, or first, you can use first, second, if you want to use the numbers, right? Or you can use the connectors or a step for the first step or second step, et cetera, et cetera, right? The point is that you have to give sense to the short part after you are going to, to make, explain it what that professions, what does professions do, right? Ya terminé. Excellent. Excellent, Rachel. Me llega, Rachel. Estamos en sintonía ahorita. Okay, ya terminó. George, <laughs> Rachel is the second one. Who else? Freddy no, is the third one. Okay. Also, Veronica. Yeah, also, Randa. Okay, we can start. Okay, nadie quería decir como saben que lo voy a pasar en orden de, <laughs> de finalización, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, so, vamos a empezar desde el último. Brandon, tell me yours, please. Ok, teacher. Let's talk about with the police man. Ok, a police okay. officer, right? Police officer, yes. The police maintain security and order in public place, mm -hmm. enforce laws and protect citizens and they prepare you from dangers and criminals to defend communities from death violence. Okay, that's Ex it. Excellent. Okay, congratulations, Alexis. Thank you so much. Choose another partner, please. De los que ya Rachel. Rachel, okay. Okay, Rachel. Rachel, ya se perdió Rachel, ya no puso la cámara. Aquí estoy. Vaya Rachel, I want to see you. What do you, uh, wait, wait, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Waitress. Waitress, ok. Waitress, you, they mm -hmm. put and drink, mm -hmm. or they are serving, the, uh -huh. or they put and drink, uh -huh. to, to, the appropriate person at uh, the table, organize and clean okay. the waiter station. Uh -huh. Organize the table or set the table. During service and the uh, many requests complete and comment from dinners time and appropriate. In the proper way, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, but excellent, Rachel. Me, me llega. Si vamos a ir aprendiendo y vamos a ir poquito por poquito, es aprender a hablarlo más y a soltarlo, okay? Excellent. Vaya, un anuncio comercial, chicos. Nosotros, cuando queremos oh, este, referirnos a ordenar, no solamente podemos ocupar la palabra ordenar o order, right? También podemos ocupar set. Set que significa como ordenar o organizar, ¿verdad? Organizar la mesa, ordenar la mesa. You can say set the table or set the, the student, ¿verdad? En el caso que usted, pues, el maestro, usted quiere ordenar a los estudiantes, son varias escuelas. Ok, set the people, ¿ok? O set the place. Arregle, organice el lugar, ¿verdad? Entonces usted puede utilizar set also para referirse a ordenar o organizar algo, ¿ok? Excellent. Thank you so much, Rachel. Now tell me another name, please. ¿Quiénes um, habían terminado? Verónica, Freddy. Ah, pues, Verónica. Verónica, okay, Verónica. 
<laughs> latest <Okay>. verses. <laughs> yes. I talk about um, the chef. Oh, okay, perfect. Is the dedicated the person in the, in charge of and um, keep them. Um, then responsible responsible for the creating a recipe recipes recipes uh -huh. recipes recipes <laughs> and menu menus uh -huh. then and training the staff and the supervising the entire the kitchen also original meaning meaning is a health chef in French. Uh -huh. Okay, excelente. Congratulations, all of you. Tell me another name. Thank you so much, Veronica. Um, with the finish. George, Fredis. <laughs> y creo que uh -huh. los demás ya van terminando. Freddy. Okay, Fredis. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Freddy. Okay. The teacher. Ah, oh, okay, perfect. The teacher. <laughs> The teacher is a professional responsible for preparing lesson plans and educating a student at whole level. Also assigning homework and preparing sets, grading tests and document progress to students. Okay. Okay, perfect, excellent. Me siento muy importante, Lorita. <laughs> I feel so important, right? <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, choose another person, please, Freddy's. Um, a George. Is George. George Alberto Laines. George Alberto Laines, next person. Vamos. Hi, thank you. La papa caliente se llama. Vamos pasando, right? <laughs> the hot potato. Okay. Go ahead, George. The polite. Uh -huh. The polite man is a symbol of the report reporters because he is in charge of ensuring the saving saving of all the use as well. Uh -huh. He is in charge of arresting people who break the law. And also, he is responsible responsible for enfor enforcing the law. Okay, yes. he is responsible for enforcing the law, right? The law. Mm -hmm. He's finished. Okay, excellent, George. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Ahora, Maria Jose, creo que usted está lista, Maria Jose, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. Vamos so, I talk about the doctor. Okay. The doctors are the people that care of us in a different ways. They prevent pains and disease or illness. Sometimes precipitous pills if we need it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the doctors need another doctor to discover what we really have. Mm -hmm. um, it's necessary that we go to the doctor usually if we... Usually, if we do add time, we can prevent all of kind of disease. Okay, excellent, Maria Jose. Thank you Thank so you. much. Ahora vamos con Michael. Michael, are you are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. Okay, I'm going to talk about the uh, person scientist. Okay, scientist. Okay. okay, perfect. Okay, he works in a laboratory makes a scientific test and discoveries and also discoveries new vaccines mm -hmm. but also is a person very very busy okay it's, it's that all okay excellent michael that's great thank you so much thank vamos, you teacher okay vamos con ana victoria are you ready yes Okay, go ahead. It, the profession is a chef. Mm -hmm. Chef is a person, gastronomy, gastronomy professional, qualified to prepare and present dishes. The job of a chef consists of the preparation of different foods, 
In addition, a chef is an artist and creative professional mm -hmm. and requires a lot of noodles and kills from nutrition to administration. Okay, excellent, Anna. Congratulations. Excellent, thank you so much. Vamos con Denise Alejandra Zuniga. Denise, are you ready? Yes, Miss. Okay, perfect. Tell us. I'm going to talk about a lawyer. Okay. Uh, a lawyer knows a lot of laws and politics. Mm -hmm. They usually study a lot of cases and then they go to the judgment and help innocent people to get free or mm -hmm. just not go to jail. To jail. Mm -hmm. A lawyer has to be an honest and loyal person, but not all lawyers are, are like that. Yeah, you're right. It's a contrast, right? <laughs> yes. Some of them are good, some of them uh, not so good, right? Yes. <laughs> but they they make the, the profession. <laughs> okay, that's great. Thank you so much, right? Vamos a ver. Maritza, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, good night, everyone. Uh, well, I also choose the profession of scientists. Okay. Scientists develop new technologies about the world, often solving problems, problems or improve aspects of modern life. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, scientists are proactive, decisive, intelligent, and efficient workers. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, to be a scientist, uh, you, must, you must be a curious person. Yes, you're right. Just that. Okay, excelente, Marisa. Good Thank opinion. You. Excellent. Eso sí es cierto. Tiene que ser muy curioso porque les, el mundo se motiva a investigar e ir más allá, ¿verdad? Más allá de lo que está a la vista, right? Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Eduardo Reyes, Luis Eduardo Reyes, are you there? Okay, Daniel Abrego Gabrizuela, are you there? Uh -huh. Yeah, see, I see. Okay, Daniel, are you ready? Uh, no, but uh, <laughs> but try. Okay, try. I know uh, that you can do it. Okay. Talking, talking. Um, I uh, talking about architect. Uh -huh, architect. Okay. Uh, this person is responsible for the stained buildings mm -hmm. in two dimensional plans. Uh -huh. I'm taking them for paper to real life. Okay. Super, super basic that this is done correctly in the art design for construction. Okay, that's it. Okay, excelente. Así es, ya ves qué tipo de es. <laughs> La cuestión es que usted tiene que tratar, Daniel. Okay, thank you so much. Excellent. Vamos con Alex. Alex, are you ready? Alex Salazar. No, teacher, I am, bueno, yo soy aún este, en, en, camino. en camino para la casa. Sí, ya voy a llegar un okay. poco mejor. Ok, perfect. Thank you so much. Cristina Beatriz. <coughs> Cristín. Cristina Beatriz, are you there? Hola, teacher. Aquí estoy, pero acabo de entrar. Ah, oh, okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Diana Maravilla. Diana Maravilla. No? Okay, bye. Yes. Recuerden que tienen que participar, pero si usted no participa. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. Uh, the profession, a doctor. Ah, oh, okay, perfect. He, the profession is to to help and save living the doctor mm -hmm. profession is very broad because you must study studying eight years mm -hmm. to have a goal preparation. I truth have the best mm -hmm. acceptance is the health field is it is a very difficult uh -huh. profession. But 
comment um very beautiful at the same beautiful. time right because it's so difficult because you have to be a wake up right you have to wake up or you have maintaining with uh, as a sleep or the despierto or the, este toda la noche muchas veces por semana ¿verdad? y así sucesivamente entonces por eso es muy difícil verdad pero es una profesión muy linda también porque hay dos personas okay great excellent Diana thank you so much Nancy Saldaña are you there yes teacher okay Nancy go okay. ahead are you ready yes okay the profession I choose is uh, uh, scientists Okay. Uh, what does the scientist do? Mm -hmm. uh, scientists investigate environment, environmental uh, problems, propose and uh, and provide solutions uh -huh. to environment problems. Also, create new medicines to cure to cure disease and studies the behavior of animals, mm -hmm. viruses, and bacteria. Okay, Thank excellent. You. Thank you so much, Nancy, excelente. As you know, in this pandemic, the coronavirus pandemic, the scientists had a important role, right? In, to invent or to find a cure or to find a vaccine, right? For that uh, virus, right? So as you see, they are so important for also for all of us, right? Remember that if they don't exist, some uh, cures for some virus or some uh, vaccines that can help us to to uh, come back, right? Or some or fight contra the, those virus doesn't exist, right? Or wouldn't exist, right? So that is why they are so important, right? In this time, most, mostly in this time, right? Okay, perfect, excelente, ya ven. Esto nos va a ayudar mucho para ir pues hablando más y así vamos a ir haciendo, okay? Okay, perfect, vamos a entrar en, en materia, chicos. Este día nos toca hablar un poquito acerca de los frequency adverbs. Eh, yo sé que ya vimos el frequency adverb nada más to get in touch with the with that topic, remember that is something that we already see before, right? And but what are some frequency other? ¿Qué son los frequency other? What are some frequency other? A ver quién me dice. ¿Quién se recuerda qué son los frequency adverbs? Son los que se utilizan para rutinas diarias. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Somebody else? And the probability express. Uh, they express the probability. Uh -huh. ¿Qué más? What else? Somebody else wants to give their his or her opinion? Nobody? Okay, let's sure remember. The frequency adverbs, guys, are the ones that tell us how often we made something, right? Or we, we do an action, right? For example, eh, how often, y se responde con la pregunta, ¿verdad? How often do you make your homeworks? How often do you make your homework? ¿Qué tan seguido hace su tarea? I usually make my homework. I usually make your homework. I always make your homework. I generally make your homework, make my homework, right? I often make my homework or sometimes, right? This is the percent that each of the frequency adverbs have. For example, always is the 100%, usually is the 90%, generally is the 80%, often is the 70%, and sometimes is the 50%, occasionally is the 30%, and the 50% is seldom. 5% is rarely, and 0% is 
never, okay? Where we can find it? Uh -huh. We can find it in the middle of the sentences or before the main verb, okay? La mayoría de las frecuencias las podemos encontrar en medio de una oración o antes del verbo principal. Y para eso tenemos esta estructura, miren, que we have the structure. Ya. Tenemos the subject plus the adverb of frequency plus the main verb. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que el frequency adverb va después del sujeto, ¿verdad? Y tenemos un example. We have an example. We usually go to the cinema on Saturdays. Nosotros usualmente vamos al cine los sábados, ¿ok? The verb to be deception, right? We, when using an adverb with the verb to be, you need to be careful with the word order because the adverb of frequency comes after it. Aquí hay una excepción. Cuando nosotros vamos a utilizar el, el verbo to be, el frequency adverb ya no va a estar antes del verbo principal, sino que después del verbo to be, pero solo cuando estamos utilizando el verbo to be. Por ejemplo, tenemos I am always tired after work. Yo estoy siempre cansada después de trabajo, right? Or she's, she's never She's never late at work. Ella nunca está tarde en el trabajo. O they are occasionally or constantly late at home. ¿Ok? Ella está constantemente tarde en casa, ¿verdad? Etcétera, etcétera, right? ¿Y qué significa cada uno de ellos, teacher? ¿Qué significa cada uno de ellos? A ver, ¿quién se recuerda? Nunca, rara, rara vez, Ajá. Eh, I don't remember, ese es, ocasionalmente. Ese es raramente, ese es rara vez. Rara Ajá. vez, okay. Ajá. Oca, okay. ocasionalmente. A veces, right? Eh, a veces. Ajá. Después. Usualmente, ¿verdad? Usualmente, often. Generalmente. Usualmente. Usualmente. Y. Siempre. 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 Muy bien. Ahora vamos a ver. Miren, acá está. Ahora hagamos unos ejemplos. Es cortita la clase del el punto de, de la Grammar Park. Ahora, ¿qué tan seguido? Si yo les digo, how often do you read a book, guys? How often do you read a book? I rarely read a book. I rarely read a book. Muy bien, excelente. ¿Por qué? Porque tenemos un verbo que no es el verbo to be, por ende va después del sujeto y antes del verbo principal. Muy bien, excelente, Brandon. ¿Alguien más? How often... Wash the dishes, Ana Victoria. I wash the dishes. Okay. I always? I wash. I often. Oh, oh, oh. No, always. Oh. Always, okay. I always wash uh -huh. the dishes. Or maybe I usually <laughs> wash the dishes. <laughs> Rara vez. I'm just kidding. Okay, Maria Jose, how often do you wash your clothes? <laughs> mm, I usually wash my clothes on Saturdays. Okay, perfect, excelente. Freddy's, how often do you make the dinner? ¿Qué tan seguido hace la cena o prepare the dinner? Teacher, repeat. How often do you make the dinner? Um, um, sometimes. 
I sometimes. Um, I sometimes. Uh, how often the dinner? Ok, para decir, vaya, how often, yo lo estoy diciendo que tan seguido, esa es la pregunta. Pero se me va a decir, I sometimes make the dinner. Yo a veces hago la, la cena, right? Uh -huh. Okay, I sometimes make the dinner. Muy bien, excelente. How I often, uh -huh, repeat, I sometimes. I sometimes. Make the dinner. Make the dinner. Excellent. Thank you so much. Ahora, how often eh, do you do you arrive late to your job, este Veronica? Sorry, teacher. How often do you arrive late at job at your job? ¿Qué tan seguido usted llega tarde a su trabajo? Mm. Never, usually, often, seldom, sometimes. Uh, sometimes. Sometimes, right? Because mm -hmm. maybe it's because we don't want to arrive late. Maybe because of traffic, maybe because yes. of an accident, something mm -hmm. that is out of our hands, right? And it's normally, right? Es algo normal, ¿verdad? Todo nos pasa. Más de alguna vez hemos llegado tarde al trabajo. Pero no porque queremos, sino que porque hay el contratiempo, se arruina el autobús, etcétera, etcétera, right? A lot of things happen, right? Okay, excellent. How often do you take the bus, Daniel? Mm. Mm, always. I always take the bus in the morning, yeah. right? Mm, yeah, in the morning. Okay, perfect, excellent. How often do you do you watch television, Michael? I always uh, television. Watch television, right? Watch I television. always watch television watch at night. Excellent, that's great. Y la última para finalizar. How often do you do you go to the market, Maritza? Excuse me. Uh, how often? How often do you do you go to the market? Market. Uh, I usually go to the supermarket on Saturday. On Saturday, right? So that means you go to the supermarket, not at the market. <laughs> <laughs> This is the difference. Supermarket is super selectos, Spensa, Walmart, and those things. And the market mm -hmm. is the one that you go down the goes down the downtown, right? And you are going to buy some fruit, some things, something like this, right? Like a grocery okay. store, <laughs> something like this. Okay, thank you so much. Excellent, Maritza. Rachel, how often do you make the breakfast? Rachel? Rachel? Rachel creo que está having dinner, right? Okay, excellent. Later I'm going to ask you, okay? Perfect. So, va, regresemos, chicos, entonces. Pero se entiende cómo lo vamos a hacer. Yeah. Vaya. Tengamos en cuenta que las dos posiciones del, del frequency adverb es antes del verbo principal, cuando no estamos hablando del verbo to be, y después del verbo to be, cuando estamos con el verbo to be. Por ejemplo, I am always tired after work. Uh, she's, never, eh, she's never late at home. Or she's never late at, jo at her job, right? Maybe it's something like this, right? Okay, so let's take a practice online, please. Just give me up and this. Vamos a ver, ya les digo, ya les digo, ya les digo, all right? Uh -huh. Vamos a ver. Sí, eso sí. Esa es pequeñita, ¿verdad? Creo que esas ya lo hicieron más o menos y ya lo conocen. Creo que no le vamos a hacer solamente para refrescar. 
No, let's frequency outbursts. If for the ones that didn't do this, it's also practice, right? To refresh your knowledge. Give me some minutes. I'm going to open the WhatsApp group. Okay, no, this is not yours, but you are here. Okay, here you have. Go ahead. This is easy, right? Remember oh, this practice, guys? Y les dan una pista, right? Les dan el color, el cual, y les dan algunos ejemplos para que usted lo pueda to tomar en cuenta. Recuerden que el verde representó always, that is 1%, 100%. The uh, yellow one is representing the 90%. The orange one represents the 75%. And the orange, more orange, right? Represent the 50%. And the red one represents the 0%, right? So what you're going to do, you are going to display this, this brochure, and you're going to choose the best option that belongs to each sentences. Take into account the color that you have here. What is that represent the color, the color yellow or yellow color? Let's see. Often, right? So that means you are going to take the option that belongs to each color. Is clear what you're going to do? Okay. For example, it's this one, right? I often play the guitar at home and so on. That's the way you're going to follow this. In the second part, you're going to find the adverb of frequency at the word search. Where are those frequency adverbs that we have here? Esos son los que van a encontrar ahí en la sopa de letras, ¿verdad? Luego vamos a ordenar las oraciones en el orden correcto. Usted solamente me va a mover las piezas, mire, y me va a poner según la estructura que hemos visto. ¿Ok? Ok. And then, guys, you are going to watch the movies. Ok, you're going to write the sentences about you using the adverb of frequency. Using these words that you have here and the percent that you have here and the picture that you have here. For example, what it what does it mean? Ah, play tennis. So it means I'm going to click here and I'm going to take into on this and I'm going to take this percentage. I often play tennis. And here, what does it mean? Never, right? And what's that? Listen to music. And you're going to construct the sentences using those clues. Van a construir la oración utilizando las pistas que les dan y el vocabulario que tenemos into the box, right? Is clear? Clear. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. Sometime. Uh,
ready to finish oh no oh no excellent just to refresh right miren daniel no quiso dar copia <laughs> la la voz del de, del malvado es oh ah. Turn up time, congratulations. <laughs> Malo que son yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Son mala gente, a ti. Son las notas de Tomás y No, that's no, good. Man. That's good. <laughs> Dijo que me dio motor. ¿Verdad? No, pero está bien. Ya ves que refrescaste conocimiento. ¿Algo estuvo bueno ahí? ¿Oh? ¿Algo estuvo bueno ahí? Te... ¿Sal? Sí, la clase, ya vi. Ok, ok. Sí, la clase, por eso te acordás. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver, ¿qué más? ¿Qué más? Teacher, I have a question. Ajá, dígame. In the last part for the right sentence, uh, which, oh, what is the subject? Um, Esta. For the MV. For the sentence. This no, one. It's just in the last part. Ajá. Uh -huh. um, for example, in, for the music, um, the subject. Es I o you o no es I, ajá, porque como está hablando I. de usted mismo, dice right sentences about ah, you. About the, uh, mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. So always you are going to use I, I, I. Okay, okay perfect. Vamos a ver, let's see who finished. I forgot to check it. Okay, George, excellent. George, 10 of 10. Also, we have Ale Zuniga, Denise, also 10, 9 of 10. Excelente. Congratulations. Who else?
sumala na ilia. Huwag kita akong sapato. Ito ay. Huwag kita akong sapato. Mama. Okay, who else? Let's see. Okay, you said <clears throat> nine of them. Okay, you said two mal. I don't know who is two. Okay, let me check. I see no story. Mal. Cheese. Maria Jose. Yes, was me. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Maria was saying yes. Thank you so much. Excellent. Congratulations. All right, Victoria. Excelente, Victoria. Finish? Okay, 10 of 10. Congratulations. Done? Okay, perfect. Let's check it, guys. Okay. What is the second one? Who tell me the second one? She? She what? She never no. watch TV before sleeping. Okay, she never watches TV before sleeping. Number three, we always. We always. Uh huh. Go to the beach. In the Excellent. We always go to the beach on summer. Try to read the whole sentence in order to practice, okay? Number four. Usually. You usually read books on holidays. Excellent. Excellent, right? And the last one, he sometimes, sometimes. 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 rides his by up the weekend. Of the weekend. Okay, perfect. What is the other that we can find here? Usually. Uh -huh. ¿Dónde está? Usually. Es casi en el último. Okay, so the... ah, es, ahí está. Okay. Ahí está. Excellent. So, you usually, right? Usually. Excellent. What is the other one? The other one? Always. Always, right? Always. Excellent. The, the other one? Often. Sometimes. Often. La segunda Sometimes. línea. Espera, espera. Segunda línea. Oh, okay, uh -huh. it's here, right? Sometimes. Never. Anna. Anna, where's the open? Ah, here is open, right? Yes. Open, muy bien. Never? What is never? never. Ah, okay, excellent. Thank you, Brandon. Never. Uh huh. That's all? Yes. Okay. Finish. Finish, right? Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Let's see the third part. What is the order of each sentence sentences? Uh-huh. I or my. My, my sister. My sister. Uh -huh. my sister. Okay. My sister. Goes to school. Ah, es que está por acá, miren. Oh, it's cool. Uh -huh. What's the other one? Carol. Uh -huh. Carol. Uh -huh. And me? Usually. Usually? Shopping. Go to shopping. Okay, excellent. What is the last one? I never. I never. Play. Mm -hmm. Play. Mm -hmm. At night. At night. Okay. Eso me hizo el night. Se me perdió. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, at night, aquí va. No sabe dónde fue a parar, pero que está por ahí. Okay, let's see. 
What is this? The four, the four part. What is the, the next sentence? I never. Okay. I never. Listen to music. I never listen to music. This, the, the next one. I always mm -hmm. go, go swimming. Go swimming or go to swimming? Go swimming. Go swimming. Go swimming, right? Next. I usually. I usually. Watch movies. Watch movies. Watch movies. That's it. Yeah. Okay. The last one. I. Uh huh. I what? I sometimes. I sometimes. Sometimes. Eat fries. Eat, eat fries. Fries. Fry. Fries, right? Okay, perfect. I sometimes eat fries. You need add the point. I. Ah, movies, la, la puse con U, y es movie, right? That's my mistake. De ahí lo demás está bien, ¿verdad? There is no problem that. Ah, I miss a good night of time because of that mistake, right? Okay, <laughs> excellent. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hoy me, no voy a dormir porque estoy frustrada. <laughs> no me sé qué día. <laughs> ¿Verdad, Alex? <laughs> Ok, perfect. ¿Verdad que no está difícil? Solamente es seguir la regla que nos ayuda pues a ubicar el, el, el adverbio de frecuencia, ¿verdad? Y cómo lo vamos a utilizar. ¿verdad? Y el mini, right? Ok, vamos a pasar, chicos, ahora a lo que es el manual, ¿ok? So, let's go there. Vamos a ver. Let's see. Just give me some minutes to find the place in which we were. I guess it is 19, right? We are on page 19. Open the unit two, please. A staff and a schedules. Vamos a ver, I'm going to share this. Acá, miren, chicos. Okay, so what we are going to do is ask and tell a schedule activities in a regular day in workplace. What are some activities that you usually do in your workplace? ¿Cuáles son las actividades que usualmente hace usted en su trabajo todos los días? A ver, can volunteers that can, that could or would like to tell something? Make a coffee, send the reports, attend clients, or make some phone calls, prepare the reports, maybe, right? Or repair the cars, or I don't know, sell something, right? Order the, the products, something like this, right? A ver. ¿Qué es lo que generalmente hacen en su trabajo? I work. Ajá, uh -huh. I work. I always fix my food in work. Ok, I always. ¿Qué se usa? ¿Te escucha ese George? Excuse me. I always fix my food in work. I always fix machine. Yes, in work. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Así es. 
Esa es una actividad que generalmente tú haces en tu lugar de trabajo, ¿verdad? Ok, vamos a ver Ramírez, Mr. Ramírez. What are the activities that you usually do in your work? Here. Uh -huh. I always answer a lot of messages in mm -hmm. a lot of messages in my WhatsApp. Okay, perfect. In WhatsApp because mm -hmm. a lot of group a lot of WhatsApp groups in job in job Ok, excelente. George Ernesto Hernández Durán, what are our activities that you usually do in your workplace? Yeah, hey, hi. In my work, I always pay tax every day. I always pay tax every day. Ok, excelente. María José, what do you usually do in your work? workplace i'm always sending and prepare um, reports mm -hmm. sometimes i take calls of angry customer that lost his flights Santo Dios. so you have to <laughs> you have yeah. to keep calm right <laughs> yeah calm. so you have to be so patient or very very patient right really patient yes Really patient, yes, you're right. Okay, thank you so much. Excellent. Michael, what do you usually do in your workplace? In my words, in the morning when I call on my office, uh, I clean my office and check my email mm -hmm. and, and receive my report about work. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Fredis, what do you usually do in your workplace? In, in the morning work in my office, I prepare report and indicator in the spreadsheet. Spreadsheet. Okay. Okay. Thank you. That's all. Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Ana Victoria, what do you usually do in your workplace? In my workplace, and sometimes I send an uh, email uh -huh. and uh -huh. prepare materials. Uh -huh. Prepare materials or reports. Materials. Uh -huh. um, prepare, prepare class. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, and activities, logistic activities. Okay, perfect, excellent. Thank you so much. Rachel, what do you usually do in your workplace? Daniel, what do you usually do in your workplace? Christina, uh, oh, okay. I usually drink coffee <laughs> okay i usually or i always drink coffee right <laughs> always is better yeah. right it's, no or, no no usually no usually yeah no. okay perfect excellent <laughs> something else give orders right <laughs> maybe <laughs> okay christina beatriz what do you usually do in your workplace In my work, I usually attend a client, uh, check my email, my email, um, offer products. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. Okay, Thank excellent. You. Vamos con Denise. Denise, what do you usually do in your workplace? Um, when I arrive to my job, I usually take a cup of coffee and then I read all my emails. Okay, excellent. And then I uh -huh. answer, I work by tickets, so I have to solve all the tickets that I have. 
WhatsApp. Okay, so you have a goals every day, right? Yes. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Okay, Veronica, what do you usually do in your workplace? Um, I receive the emails, I reply emails and the customer and I download uh, orders mm -hmm. this this um um I I have I have two the procedures procedures mm -hmm. on the, I send the email for um the production department mm -hmm. and um I have that then the the meeting and on the Tuesday. Um, that's it. Okay, excellent, Veronica. Thank you so much. Uh, Brandon Alexis, what do you usually do in your workplace? Maritza. Yes. Okay, what do you usually do in your work workplace? Well, in the morning, I always check my email. Then, I always prepare my coffee, and I usually call new applica applicants mm -hmm. for available position. Mm -hmm. And in, in the afternoon, I usually file document, mm -hmm. and I occasionally. I check my my cell phone. Okay, excellent. <laughs> Thank you so much. So you are busy, you are sincere, right? <laughs> so that's great. No, si se pasa es normal. La que es un de curiosidad. Chequemos el teléfono. No, there's no problem. Okay. So what we're going to do now, guys? Listen to your teacher. Read the conversations. Then practice with a partner. So these kitchens look great. It does. Who is in charge of the cleaning? Cleaning it. Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. She does a really good job. Indeed. But doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. George does. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take an order after him? Yes, she, yes, he does. Okay. So this is a reading. But I would like to know if you already know all the vocabulary words that we have here. Or you have some curious about that? Or doubts? Indeed. Indeed. Okay. Indeed means an efecto. Something else? No more, right? I guess it is, it's just that, right? Chit es como horario, right? It's como decir schedule or chit, right? El horario que tienes, perdón. Something else? Algo más, chicos? Okay, let's answer the questions. You're going to answer these three questions, guys. Who cleans the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday? Jessica cleans the kitchen. Okay, Jessica cleans the, the kitchen, right? What does George do? What does George do, este, Alex? A mm, uh, yo, Alex, o el otro Alex. <laughs> you are Alex, el otro es Alexis. Hola. Ah, ok, ok. Este, uh, George, George, George. Uh, Is the number two. Does... What does George okay. do? George take, out, take orders. 
Uh -huh. George takes orders also, right? Muy bien. George takes orders. Okay, orders. George Alberto Laines. Uh, when does George Brothers take orders? When does George uh, Brothers take orders? From them. They don't have their hands. Oh, from them. And I need to. Okay, he takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., right? Okay, excellent. So, let's see. How to use simple present for a schedule activities, guys? Remember that? Use simple present for a schedule activities. For example, Matt serves at 2 p.m. Paul gets to work at 1 p.m. Andrea cleans the table to from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. And Maria cooks from 7 a.m. to a half, a half past 1 p.m. Vaya, ¿qué es lo que significa simple present? ¿Recuerdan la regla que aplica para las terceras personas? Talking about verbs. Regular and irregular did, verbs. Ajá. Yes, yes. We, uh -huh, we so, add. Uh, you add yes uh -huh. or es to the, the verb. Finally, there. Exactly. In verbs, to the verb, use talk a, a person, a third person. Uh -huh. When we talk about third person, we use the most of the regular verb we add. S or ES, right? When we talk about third person, for example, we have servers, right? We have gets, we have cleans, we have cooks, right? And those kind of things, right? Y también está la regla de que cambiamos la Y por la Y latina y agregamos ES, ¿verdad? ¿Se acuerdan de eso? Okay, yes, I guess it is like this, right? Use the verb form for, to the uh, form the box to write sentences about you and people in your workplace. For example, here you have some verbs, okay? So what you are going to do, you are going to construct sentences using your own information and using the verb that you have here about your workplace. ¿Qué es lo que puedes hacer? ¿Qué oración puedes hacer con el verbo words referido a su trabajo? I work from Monday mm -hmm. to Saturday. Okay, I work from Monday to Saturday. Muy bien, excelente. With the verb open. Guys, open. Teacher, I have a question. Uh -huh. Y también podemos ocuparlo, según entiendo, como para referirnos a alguna compañera o compañero de trabajo. Sí, así es. ¿Usted puede hacer una Entonces, oración? Podría ser... My boss is opens, openness. Opens with is S. openness in on job at morning. Uh -huh. Or maybe you can say uh, the company opens at 7 o'clock, maybe, or at 7 a.m. También, la compañía abre a las 7 okay. punto de la mañana, okay? Maybe, right? Arrive, okay. okay? The bear arrive. Rem remember that when we have some word that, that ends with some uh, letters, we add ES. And when we have another one that doesn't end with that letters, we just add S. 
por ejemplo, los que terminan en X, en O, S, 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 H, S, H, se les agrega E, S, ¿verdad? Al final. Talking about third person. But if there doesn't finish with that, with that letters, we just add S at the end. ¿Ok? Es solamente para recordar. Ok, close. Close. An example with close. The company closes. Uh -huh. Sorry. The company closes, uh -huh. 5 p.m. o'clock. Ajá, by 5 p.m. o'clock. Por las 5, ahí por las 5. Es así aproximada, approximately, right? The verb arrive. El verbo llegar. Oh. My boss arriving airport in late. 20 and a half. <laughs> okay, my boss arrived in airport. In the airport. Oh, excuse me, the airport. Uh-huh. Uh, in a club. At 10 o'clock, okay, excellent. Vamos con el verbo go. My sister goes to sí. high school. Okay, my sister goes to the school, okay? Porque es el verbo que termina en O, por eso aplica la regla de agregar ES al final, okay? Goes. My sister goes to the school. Okay, excellent. So what you are going to do, this is your turn. So you are going to get in pairs and you are going to make a schedule or a regular schedule day. What do you do in your workplace? And you are going to explain to your partner, what do you do in that day? And then your partner is going to tell you to you, for example, First of all, I arrive at tal, tal hora, después hago esto, después hago lo otro, tal es hora y así sucesivamente. Solamente vamos a hacer cinco oraciones de las cosas que nosotros hacemos en nuestro lugar de trabajo. Y luego se las vamos a decir a nuestro compañero y nuestro compañero nos va a decir las de él o las de ella, ¿ok? So you are going to get in pairs. I'm going to make the breakup rooms and Con work in that. Verbos. Con los verbos. Con Voy a tomar en cuenta estos verbos. Ah, siempre eso. Okay. Sí, o tal vez puede inventarse otros, ¿verdad? Puede tomar en cuenta otros, por ejemplo, order, por ejemplo, check, por ejemplo, clean, por ejemplo, por ejemplo, eh, what? Write, ¿verdad? Escribir, or attend, atender, ¿verdad? Ok. Call, etcétera, etcétera, ¿verdad? Right? Ok. Ok. Ok, perfect. Okay, Vaya, vamos a hacer los breakout rooms. I'm going to make a eight. Si alguien está solito, lo voy a cambiar, ok? Mm. Acá okay, go ahead, guys. Get in, please. Chicos, entremos a los breakout rooms. Brandon, Eduardo Reyes, Verónica, Cristina. Hay que entrar, chicos. Excellent. Thank you so much. Rachel, hay que entrar a los breakout rooms. Freddy's also, I can try los breakout rooms. Cristina, Beatriz. No me aparece, teacher. No le aparece. Ya voy a ver entonces. Permítanme. Jorge Alberto Lainez Díaz. Cristina Beatriz. Vamos a ver. Freddy's Landa Verde. Ok. No le apareció. Ah, ok, Jorge, ahora te voy a, te voy a asignar, George. Eh, te voy a asignar a sala 1, ok, sala 1. Ahí estamos. Go ahead. Rachel, entremos, Rachel, no me dejes solito al, al compañero.
Rachel, Cristina. No me deja solo el compañero, Cristina. Ok, Miguel, te cambié hasta las seis. Miguel, movámonos. Excelente. Excelente. Thank you so much. Vamos a ver. Nancy Saldaña. Nancy, te voy a cambiar, Nancy. Ok, Nancy, la voy a cambiar hasta la 8. Nancy, la cambié hasta la 8. Please move. Thank you.
Finish, guys. Oh, sorry. Let's see, guys.
Hello, 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 guys. Oh, no. Okay, guys, did you finish? More or less? Yes. No, no teacher. No, la verdad, no, verdad. No, no creo que hayan terminado, la verdad. No, teacher. Ay. Pero lo que pasa es que... <laughs> Lo que pasa es que no tenemos tiempo ahorita, por eso lo saqué de la sala. Tenemos 56 minutos ya, chicos, y hay que pasar la lista por segunda vez. Este, lo vamos a dejar para el día de mañana, primeramente Dios. Vamos a continuar con la actividad el día de mañana. Vayan pensando más o menos, ¿verdad? Si no lo han terminado, ¿verdad? Y hacer unos dos o tres apuntes para tenerlos preparados ya solo para hacer la práctica, ¿ok? Let's speak it. Question, teacher. Ajá, tell me, George. Serían 25 oraciones, por ejemplo. 25, no, no, 5 nada más. 5 oraciones. <ríe> Yo creo que eran 5 de cada. No, claro cada que no. No. <ríe> no, ¿cómo que es? No, 25, no, 5 oraciones de las actividades que usted hace en su trabajo, ¿verdad? Nada más 5 actividades. Van a decir 5 5 de todo lo que estaba en general. Eh, open work. Ajá, cinco nada más. Right. Usted puede escoger Pero otro cinco verbo. Cinco por todas, no cinco de cada uno. Cinco de cada, de, cada, de cada una persona, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, suya son cinco, cinco de Miguel Santos, cinco de Freddy, cinco de George, yeah. ese sucesivamente. <risa> Cuando los ponga en parejas, me van a, usted le va a decir sus cinco oraciones a, a la persona con quien esté usted trabajando y la persona con quien esté trabajando con usted le va a decir sus cinco oraciones. Nada más, ¿ok? No voy a oh, hacer no. 100 oraciones porque no. Oh, no. Ya llevaba okay. como 25. Santo, eso que acá me, me malinterpretó. Creo que no. sí me equivoco. No, just five, guys. Con oh, razón, dice. Puede enviarnos ese email para poder sacar el material así como lo teníamos, así, este, la, las hojitas y poderlo tener más a la fácil para estarlo repasando. ¿Te ¿Te ah, ¿Te ah, ok, ah, Daniel, ¿puedes you, you send the, the PDF, please? From yeah. the unit 2. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, Daniel. Bueno, voy a pasar la lista. Lo que Daniel les pasa el, el PDF, voy a pasar en la lista, ¿ok? Vamos, chicos, si no se me olvida, ya no la paso por segunda, segunda vez. Just give me some minutes. I'm going to open the, the file. Ok, yeah. so Alex Enoch Ramírez Salazar. Ana Raquel, okay. Ana Raquel Campos Ayala. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ana Victoria Galán Cantón. Present. Thank you. Brandon Alexis Velázquez Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you. Cristina Beatriz Rivera de Caravantes. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniel Abrego Brizuela. Present teacher. Denise Alejandra Zuniga Aldana. Present. Denise, eh, perdón, Diana Yamilet Maravilla Navas. Edith Adilia Hernández Chacón. Fredis Ricardo Landa Verde. Present. Thank you. Jorge Alberto Laines Díaz. Present. Thank you. Jorge Ernesto Hernández Durán. Present, teacher. Thank you. Luis Eduardo Reyes. Present. Thank you. María José Escobar Portillo. Present. Maritza Celina Aguilar Ramos. Present. Thank you, all of you guys. Miguel Santos Marroquín Maravilla. I'm here. Thank you. Morelia Giselle Perdomo Pineda. Nancy Carolina Saldaña Membreño. Present teacher. Thank you. O'Kelly de Jesús Herméstica Carranza. Verónica Lisset Portillo de Castro. I'm present. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye, niños. So it's time to go to bed, guys. Yes. yes. So thank you so much. Yes. 
And I see you tomorrow at the same time, the same channel. Okay. Thank you so much and have a nice dream. So bye bye. See Good you. night, everybody. Bye. See, see you tomorrow. Good night. Have a nice rest. Good night, Nights, guys. Bye, teacher. Good bye, night. Rachel. See you tomorrow. <clears throat> teacher. Um la clase de jueves y viernes. Ajá. Me la puede enviar. Yo no pude asistir porque tenía problemas con, con el internet de la casa. Sí, Freddy, tiene que entrar al link de la lista de reproducción. En el mensaje que les manda la, este, la chica del staff todos los días en las tardes, está toda la información. Ahí dice lista de reproducción de video. YouTube. Ahí le da okay. clic y ahí aparecen todos los videos consecutivamente. Ahí puede hallar la del jueves, la del viernes y mañana, primero Dios, antes de las 8 de la mañana, la de hoy. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Have a nice rest.